water program and others. I therefore move that we also um, 2014-15 increase for autos that county owned or operated shall not exceed $2.50 per entry. Uh, and also uh, item two is uh, shall not exceed $2.50 per entry above the existing fee and keep the existing $1 per 20 minute fee at the Fisherman's Village parking lot. Uh, and then the rest is, is identical to uh, to what we have on the green sheet. So with that, uh, seconded, with that, uh, call up uh, John Nahas, Eric Previn, Arnold Sachs, and Patrick O'Rourke. It's Eric Previn, the county resident from District 3 and also a uh, third district supervisorial candidate. And this, uh, I was not able to digest that amendment right away, and I would ask that the Board of Supervisors delay this hearing. Uh, same amendments hearing. on the green sheet. It's the same amendment. The only thing different was to keep the parking at a dollar at Fisherman's Village. No, I understand the dollar, right, but it is a teeny bit confusing. There's something about from 13 to a high of 236%. I'm just a little confused by it. I will address your amendment earlier, which was to uh, reduce the increase on a typical $10 parking charge for a family in the hottest part of summer driving to the coast for coastal access, which, as you recall, the marina was by charter intended to provide coastal access for the residents of Supervisor Molina's district and Supervisor... Uh, Ridley Thomas's and Mayor Antonovich's district because we don't all have coastal access, those uh, residents who are not on the coast. So you've provided, instead of a $5 increase on a $10 charge, up to $15, you've suggested let's hold that at $250, which is in fact very, uh, it's in the right direction, but it is of course still 25% more than we, the public, can possibly handle. So I want to just get to the basic thrust. The basic thrust is that an ordinary family coming to the beach in the summer should not be hammered with additional charges. It is an abnegation of this board's responsibility to hold the line on these costs. We've heard Mayor, uh, sorry, not Mayor, but uh, Supervisor Yaroslavsky on uh, the Hollywood Bowl roll up the increases on park and ride and everything else. And Supervisor Kanaba, you stand tall and say, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to vote for it. Where are you guys on this? We need the regular supervisors to step forward together and say, no, Beaches and Harbor, you're a profitable, high-end group that has offices on the coast. You don't need additional uh, personnel for this work. In fact, we already gave you seven parking enforcement guys, and we can't even, these parking lots, this, is, this drives me crazy, these parking lots are not even being used at the current rates. So to increase these parking fees is an absolute outrage, and I urge this board to take strong action against Time's up. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate your outrage. Next. Good morning, Supervisors and Honorable Chair. My name is John Nassim with the Voting Coalition. Raising fees for parking, voting, and county services in Marina Del Rey will further restrict our use of the public lands along the coast. In fact, in the many years I've been following the fleecing of the taxpayers on the public lands of Marina Del Rey, I have never seen a county commission deny an, an agenda item. This proposed fee increase was denied because a commissioner decided to speak out. But you would know it because it wasn't in the staff report. County Council has now confirmed and handed over an important document that was sent to the supervisors regarding this item that the public could not have known existed. We believe this constitutes a Brown Act violation. The public lands of Marina Del Rey were intended for all the county residents to enjoy access to the water. More fee increases on people that cannot afford the fees would further limit county citizens' options to get to the cooler climates during the summer. Several months ago, the county tried to increase fees on the wealthy homeowners that are fortunate to live along the coast, calling it a coastal fee. That didn't work because the county noticing a massive mailing to the residents and pretty well-organized opposition put it to, the, to its dismal release. For this fee increase, there's a very limited noticing, and the people you would be imposing fees or taxes on don't have the means to organize. This seems like a cowardice behavior in county leadership. It makes you bullies in continuing to tax the poor and middle class. Lastly, I come back to the Small Craft Harbor Commission that denied that these fees be increased. This is your Citizen Advisory Commission in Marina Del Rey. 
that always seems to rubber stamp what's before them. There hasn't been a project or an item they haven't liked before these fee increases came before them. Like we have heard from other commissioners throughout the county, they are convinced that their opinion just doesn't matter. Of course, the public is convinced their opinion doesn't matter, and we certainly want these fees uh, to be looked at. And appreciate your concern. Again, we Thank ask you. that you don't act today because of the, the Brown Act violation. This is a secret document that we now know exists. All right. Thank you. Again, my name is Patrick O'Rourke. I live in Santa Monica. I go down to Marina Del Rey 